What is up, everybody? Keith Mitchell here from the Outer Productions, and I'm sure if you're like me, you've been playing the heck out of the Outriders demo, which is available now for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. However, if you're playing on PC, again like me, you may have noticed that the performance simply isn't there. It doesn't matter if you're running a potato machine or if you're running a PC with the best of the best. Now, in my instance, I'm playing this game on two different PCs. One has a Ryzen 9 3900X with an NVIDIA 3090, and the other one is a Ryzen 7 2700X with a RTX 2080 Ti. Now, you would think that both of these machines are still pretty beefy and they can run the games with no issues. However, you'd be wrong. As the demo stands right now, it is pretty unoptimized and there still needs to be a lot of work before the PC version can run at 60 frames per second. And I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and on Reddit and on various websites and even on YouTube going, hey, we need to get as much performance out of this game as we can. And I've seen people put out guides saying, hey, change this setting in game, change this setting in game. This will make the game run better. And this is not to throw shade at those people because everybody's doing the best they can. And as always, my job is to try and educate. And I will tell you this right now. The settings in the game are only going to help you but so far. Making a change in Windows, it's only going to go so far. The problem with this game, again, is, is unoptimized. There's a lot of settings that either don't work or don't work properly. And there are a lot of settings that are missing from the demo that I really hope make it into the full game. Now, what can you do about it? Because this is not the full version of the game and it's not completely baked. Well, thankfully, you can go into the game setting INI file and make a change. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make those changes, what changes you should make, and what you can expect. But before that, you see the game on my screen right now. I'm gonna walk around the town. So this is the game running on the, the machine with the 2700X and the RTX 2080 Ti. Now, as you can see, my frame rate will drop and raise depending on where I go in the city. So I'm still hovering near 60 frames per second. And in some places I stay at 60. Other places, I drop down to 50 or something. But this is definitely a far cry considering that before I made these changes to the PC, I was hitting anywhere from 30 to 40 frames per second and sometimes even worse. I'm sure if you're playing on a PC version, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But for the most part, the frame rates are steady. I don't have any issues with that. And to show you what I'm doing here, we'll go to the options. We'll go to display event and you see I'm running everything pretty much high with the exception of shadows. Shadows tends to bog you down some. It does take a lot of CPU or, or uh, GPU away. So I have it on medium, but there's not a big difference between a medium and a high. So it doesn't really bother me. And as I'm playing the game, you're not really looking at the shadow. So if you really don't care about the shadows, you can actually turn that off for a little more performance boost. Now that I showed you what it looks like walking around the city, let's take a look at it in the actual world itself, playing the game itself. As you can see so far, I'm still hanging around 60 frames per second. I might drop like 55 or so, but I'm still doing good. I still have a respectable frame rate. It's not dropping anywhere down to like 30 frames or 40 frames. And given that this game is still very unoptimized, the fact that I'm getting these frames per second is actually really good, especially if I'm at high settings. Hovered around 60 frames per second. I think the lowest I got was 50 frames per second, but it came right back up. So you're probably saying, okay, Keith, this looks great. This will do good for me as well. Even though I don't have the same video card, what can I do? Well, good that you asked that question and I'm going to show you what you need to do here. Now, keep in mind, these are actually editing text files. So you're going to have to open up a text editor to make these changes. All right, so to make these changes, you're going to have to drop out of the game, drop to Windows, open up Windows Explorer, and type in percentage sign app data percentage sign. Hit enter. Once you do that, it's going to take you to your Roman directory. You want to go back to the app data directory, go to local, and then find the folder called Madness. I'm not sure why they call it Madness, but that's what it's called. Once you have that open, go to save, go to config, go to Windows, no editor, 
and then you're gonna locate the file called game user settings. Open this up with Notepad or Notepad++ or whatever you use to open up text files. Once this opens up, you're gonna to go to the very bottom. We added a new section here called system settings. And in here, we're telling the game to do certain things. So game blur G buffer means we don't want game, we don't want the motion blur on. Fast blur threshold means we don't want it on. Default feature bloom means we don't want it on. And these are all set to zero, which means they're disabled. I adaption quality one, depth of field quality one. I put it to one, you can take that off if you don't want it. It'll help with some performance as well. Full screen mode, always have this enabled as exclusive full screen. That way you don't have to worry about it dropping into Windows mode. Lens flare quality, zero, I don't want it on. Again, max blur or motion blur max off, motion blur quality off, tone mapper setting sharpen one. You could drop this to 0.5 or zero as well. It doesn't give you that much of a performance boost, but you can totally can do it. Default feature anti-aliasing. So there's three settings or four settings. It's off, there's FXAA, which is one, there's TAA, which is two, and there's MSAA, which is three. If you don't have a really powerful video card, or if you just want to try them out, I would drop it to zero. Once you make these changes, save it, go back to the game. Once you do that, you'll have a better performance, you'll have a better overall experience until the game is actually completed and released, and hopefully not as buggy and unoptimized. So once again, folks, thank you for watching the video. Ignore Cortana, it keeps popping up on my screen, I don't know why. And if this video helped you, do everybody here at the Outer Haven a big favor by liking the video, leaving a comment to tell us if it helps you or not, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.